Okay, the following description of the uh, geometry stuff comes from songho.ca maths. It says the equation of a plane in 3D space is defined with a normal vector here, a comma b comma c, um, perpendicular to the plane and a known point on the plane. So there's p1 maybe. Or is it P? No. Let the normal vector of a plane N and a known point on the plane. Let the normal vector of a plane N and a known point on the plane P1. And let any point on the plane be as P. You can define a vector connecting P1 to P, which is lying on the plane. P minus P1 is equal to X minus X1, Y minus Y1, Z minus Z1. Since the vector P minus P1 and the normal vector N are perpendicular to each other, the dot product of the two vectors should be zero. So the normal vector, which is A comma B comma C, dot dotted with P minus P1 is equal to zero. A product of the normal vector and a vector on the plane becomes the equation of the plane. By calculating the dot product, we get a comma b comma c dot x minus x1, y minus y1, z minus z1 equals zero, which is a times x minus x1, b times y minus y1, C times Z minus C1. Okay, so some questions. Um, of course, this, um, well, let's just write it out like this. It's AX, BY, CZ minus um, oh wait, now this is just addition. Uh, plus, so this is just plus, and then the second part is b x one b a x one b y one c z one, and again that's just addition. So this these are, aren't really matrices. Um, this thing isn't a matrix. This is just an, a sum. Um, so we got the sum, and what are we going to do with that? We're going to set that sum equal to zero. Because it's just saying that it's the dot product of the normal vector in any point and a the dot product of any. And then, um, OK, so so yeah, let's, let's look at sort of a hypothetical. Um, imagine a, uh, a sphere that is tangent to a plane, or we'll just use a circle tangent to a line. Here is our normal vector, which is actually, let's go ahead and draw this so that it's not right on center. And uh, there's our normal vector. And we're going to be saying this point is x equals, all right, let's say this is theta, and this is r, and so x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, and of course z equals zero. And then we'll say that we are going to make, the so the normal vector, that's going to be the normal vector, and the equation for the plane perpendicular to that is n dot uh, p minus p sub naught equals zero. p sub naught, okay. n equals r, okay. And then that's not n, that's p1. That's our p1. Uh, 
we'll call that p1. And then our normal vector is, I almost want to say our normal vector is the same thing. So it's uh, cosine theta, sine theta, 0, dot, uh, x minus r cosine theta, x minus r sine theta, and or y minus r sine theta, z minus 0, equals 0. And if that's the case, what comes out? x cosine theta uh, plus y cosine theta equals r cosine squared theta minus r plus r sine squared theta. Now, how does Mathematica work with planes? Can it graph a plane? It's got a function called infinite plane that uh, draws a plane through three different points. For instance, here, graphics 3D, infinite plane 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 draws a plane through those three points. So I could generate um, three pl points on the plane uh, by first set find if, well, if x equals 0, if x equals 0, y equals what? If y equals 0, x equals what? And if z equals 0, which it already is, so so yeah, in this case, we could just set x equals 0, y equals 0. So let's go ahead and fill in those two, z equals 0. So those are our three points, 0, 0, what, 0, what, 0, blank, 0, 0. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, make this thing full-blown and do the z-axis as well, z equals z equals r cosine theta, x equals r cosine theta cosine phi, and y equals r cosine theta sine phi. Then we'll make our normal, which is x of r theta phi, y of r theta phi, z of r theta phi. And then we need our point, which is also the same as the normal. So a little bit of pseudocode here. Um, we want normal dot p minus p1 to equal 0. And so I'll comment that out. And what then, how does, how do I implement that? It basically comes out as normal dot p is equal to normal dot p1. And then I'm going to be looking for three different points that are in the plane, which as a suggestion, normal dot 0, 0, something, normal dot 0, something, 0, and normal dot something, 0, 0 is going to equal normal dot p1. But what are those somethings? We could make one change up here. Um, if we wanted a normal to be a unit length, we could make the normal be x of 1 theta phi, 1 theta phi, 1 theta phi, instead of r theta phi. What gives us that normal dot, yeah, this is what I was thinking, r cosine squared theta, cosine r cosine squared theta cosine squared phi and r cosine squared theta sine squared phi. I am pretty sure I can simplify that. I don't remember because uh, cosine squared phi plus sine squared phi is 1. Um, yeah, it becomes 2r cosine squared theta. 
simplifies quite a bit. Alright, so I'm sticking in r theta phi 0, 0, z, r theta phi 0, y, 0, and r theta phi x, 0, 0. So the first one gives z cosine theta equals 2r cosine squared theta, which means z equals 2r cosine theta. Interesting. So the first point would be 0, comma, 0, comma, 2r cosine theta. The next one is y cosine theta sine theta and uh, equals 2r cosine squared theta. So this one would give you y equals 2r um, cosine theta over sine theta, and then z, and then x. Is that what I did? Did I do them in that order? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Don't have to worry about the order that I did them. x cosine theta cosine phi equals 2r cosine squared theta. So that's going to give x equals cosine theta theta over cosine phi. Okay, so our y, where it crosses the y-axis is 0 comma 2r cosine theta over sine phi. Uh, is it a sine theta or a sine phi? Sine phi. Yeah, and this one is going to be there's an R there. R, 2R, 2R cosine theta over cosine phi, comma, 0, comma, 0. Oh, and I left off a 0 over here. OK, so those are our three points that I want to use for the infinite plane. Um, the first one is x being 2 r cos theta over cos phi oh, whoops. comma 0 comma 0 second one is 0 comma something comma 0 Last one is something comma zero. Oops, zero comma zero comma something. And that something here is 2r cosine theta over sine phi. And something over here is 2r cosine theta. And I'm going to do a manipulate on this command. And the manipulate is going to have three variables, r theta, and phi. And here's the command. It's running. It's going to give me an error on something. I'm sure it always does. And there's our box. We've got an r and a theta and a phi. And the error is coordinate something directed infinity. Should be a triple of numbers. Not a valid conic hull region specification. Let's see what I can find. Oh, it's that directed infinity giving us a problem. And the problem with the directed infinity was the sine phi on the bottom here, with 0 being for phi. Let's just change that to maybe 0 0.1 for now, so that it just doesn't hit that infinity on the bottom. There might be a better, more elegant solution to this, if we can find one. One of these works. Um, the phi variable spins it around nicely. Theta does not work. R does not seem to quite work. So there's something a bit wrong. There's one thing that I don't think should make a difference, but 
Um, what if it does make a difference? What if I, because I think the normal line is just a vector, and assigning a one there would give it a unit length. But what if, uh, what if I was wrong about that? And then, um, then, yeah, yeah, that changes things nothing at all, because this just gives us an r squared here, and that r squared is going to be divided by r, divided by r, divided by r. So that didn't change anything. Oh, I think I see the problem. Look at this, cosine theta, sine theta. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do everything over again. Okay, crap. So, there's my problem. Um, well, the good news is these are going to be a lot simpler. Z cosine theta equals R, so that'll be R over cosine theta for the Z part. Just this is just going to be R divided by cosine theta. Y sine theta sine phi equals R, so it's Y is going to be R over sine theta sine phi. And x cosine phi sine theta is r, so x is going to be um, r divided by, whoops, wrong one, control z, r divided by cosine phi sine theta. sine theta. Okay. Now let's try it. Okay, look at this. That little tangent tangent plane is spinning right around the circle. Can we get it? Can we get a hoo-ah? Yay. Okay. Whoa, that looks weird. Can you see it from there? Oh, no, it's missing. That's not good. Something went wrong. The radius isn't right. Oh, there's no 2 in these. Let's get rid of that 2. OK, now it looks like it's staying on. That looks promising. And the radius can change. And yeah, it looks like it's staying right there, tangent on it. Good news, good news, good news. Looks like the plane is staying on the ball. Except one, I get a division by zero error. Yeah, that looks like it worked. So here's the uh, here's the equation for your three points. Uh, I mean, they're kind of arbitrary points, but the one selected from setting x equals yz equals 0, 0, xz equals 0, 0, and xy equals 0, 0. So that looks like a good, that looks like a good start. And this was May 20th, 2018. Thanks for watching.